Hello boys and girls, it is Mrs. Derek. I am here to begin introducing to our WC Petty Art Gallery. This month we will be featuring an artist who created something called an obliteration room. So some of my classes I told we would go on a tour next week. When we leave our room, we're gonna walk on down the hall to our very own art gallery. This used to be Miss Vandenberg's room. As we come inside, our gallery is ready to go. I am very excited to introduce this concept to you. And so we'll take a look at a brief video to learn about our artist and what an obliteration room is so we can get ready to complete our very own. A Kusama obliteration room. At the start of the project, this room was completely white white ceiling, white floor, white walls, white furniture. People come in, and they are given a sheet of coloured stickers in different sizes, which have been produced specially for the project and in accordance with the artist's specifications. Her choice of colour, her choice of finish, and her choice of size. And then everybody is invited to place the stickers anywhere they like in the room, according to any a pattern, any idea they have, any, any, anything they like they can do with the stickers. Kusama is best known for her brilliantly coloured dotted surfaces, her uh, installations with blow-ups and her walls covered in brilliant spots. And in her biography, she talks about experiences really of a very young child, almost sort of hallucinogenic experiences, where her vision of landscape and people was clouded by spots. And in her very, very first mature works of art, just after finishing art school in Kyoto, the spot emerges as a pattern in her work. And from that period of time, she comes back to the spot with great regularity. And by the end of the 60s, she's actually painting the landscape, she's painting spots on people's bodies, onto animals, and the spot becomes a very regular motif throughout her work. It's her way of kind of covering the surface. It's a reflection of her vision, but it's also a way of um, uh, embracing the whole world in a kind of overall pattern. And the interesting thing about this work in particular is that where she's moved from creating an environment of spots that we passively uh, appreciate or enjoy or walk through, she's now moved on to actually involving the audience in the creation of this dotted, spotted interior. The W.C. Petty Obliteration Room. Boys and girls, we have our very own obliteration room here at W.C. Petty School. It is ready to rock so you can start to add your dots. We will take turns as classes coming in, adding dots, using stickers. You can cut dots out and glue them to the wall. Do notice that this wall back here is not wrapped in paper. We'll want to avoid that wall, but you will gather your supplies from there to add to our very own obliteration room. I can't wait to see how ours turns out.